Let's welcome His Excellency Hong Manai, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia. His Excellency Chai Chi, member of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of the CPC and member of the Secretariat of the CPC Central Committee. <clears throat> Excellencies, Head of State and Government, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, I have the great pleasure to attend the third Belt and Road Forum for International Corporations and to deliver remarks on digital economy as a new source of growth in this high-level forum. First and foremost, allow me to congratulate the government of the People's Republic of China and the BRI participating countries on the 10th anniversary of this important initiative that has helped link the world in the sphere of prosperity through robust soft hard connectivity. Truth be told, the world has not witnessed such a great global initiative in decades. Since the end of the Cold War, the Belt and Road Initiative has been instrumental in providing many developing countries, including Cambodia, with numerous advantages such as the development of physical infrastructure, increased foreign direct investments, economic growth, regional and global integrations, and people-to-people -people exchanges. For this, I express my sincere admiration to the People's Republic of China for shouldering these heavy responsibilities and exercising global leadership. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, for the past decade, digital technology has been rapidly advancing and becoming a key factor in promoting greater global economic and social connectivity bringing us closer and more dependent on each other. With digitization gaining momentum in various economic activities in both scope and scales, digital economy has been also been growing by leaps and bounds. According to the World Economic Forum, the global digital economy was valued at $14.5 trillion in 2021 and is expected to reach $20.8 trillion by 2025. Many nations, including those along the Belt and Road routes, are seeking to diversify their economies. The digital economy offers a unique opportunity to achieve this goal by creating new industries and markets, stimulating innovations and entrepreneurship utilizing digital technology to connect to the global value chain, reducing dependency on traditional sectors and driving economic dynamism and competitiveness. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to harness the full potentials of the digital economy requires a comprehensive approach, including developing favorable policies and regulations, enabling infrastructure, and other necessary conditions that can support innovations, protect intellectual property rights, and promote digital literacy. Furthermore, collaboration between governments and other relevant stakeholders, such as private sector entities and academia, is essential to drive innovation and address challenges associated with digital economy. The private sector plays a crucial role in promoting successful and effective digital economy integrations. Therefore, initiatives such as digital skills training programs, awareness raising campaigns, and consultative forums with private sector should be enhanced to address challenges and seize opportunity in the digital economy. Building a robust digital foundation is also pivotal to unlocking the full potentials of the digital economy. However, this requires a huge amount of financing and technical expertise. In this sense, I would like to encourage increased funding for building and developing digital infrastructures, including connectivity, 
data center and security, and other digital enablers and platform in developing countries, particularly through the Belt and Road Initiative. Last, let us not forget the importance of sustainability in the digital economy. As we embrace new technologies, we must ensure that they are used in response, used responsibly and in a manner that aligns with our environmental and social goals. This includes promoting green technologies, reducing digital waste, and addressing the digital divide to ensure equal access for all. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as a nation with a young, dynamic population and a burgeoning tech-savvy workforce, Cambodia is well positioned to leverage the digital economy to its advantage. The Royal Government of Cambodia has introduced a series of visionary policies and initiatives, such as Cambodia Digital Economy and Society Policy Framework 2135, Cambodia Digital Government Policy 2022 to 2035, the Pentagon Strategy Phase 1, and Cambodia Financial Technology Development Policy 2023-2028. Firmly underpinning Cambodia's commitment to transitioning from a conventional economic model to a resilient digital economy. In this respect, I would like to welcome key partners, both from public and private sectors, to explore tremendous opportunities that Cambodia can offer in the field of digital economy. In closing, I extend my sincere gratitude to all participants for their commitments to this vital dialogue. Let us seize the opportunities before us, embrace the digital revolutions, and pave the way for a new era of growth and prosperity through digital economy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prime Minister Hong Manai.